Hello, my name is Joseph Odor, Global Portfolio Marketing Manager at Codec Galaris. For today's demonstration, we're going to show you how to download and install scanner drivers for your Codec Galaris scanner. Now this process is the same for any Codec Galaris scanner. If this is a new installation, you want to make sure the scanner is unpacked, all the packing material removed, and the scanner power cord is installed and the USB cable, but do not connect the USB cord to your PC at this time. In the installation instructions that come with the scanner, you'll have an installation sheet. This installation sheet will visually show you how to install and power on the scanner, but more importantly, it will also provide you with the URL on where to download the scanners. For this demonstration, we're actually going to go to our support webpage for the scanner itself, as opposed to uh, selecting this installation link. Once you're on the main website, you want to select support to reach the support page. And once you're on the support page, you're going to look for your product. We're going to scroll down slightly until you reach find your product. Here we're going to select the S3100F scanner. Once you reach the support webpage for the product you've chosen, you want to scroll down to the driver section. From here, you have one of two choices. You have a Windows-exe file, which will allow you to download the installation package and execute it. Or there's also a Windows ISO file if you wanted to burn a CD image for multiple installations. Now, this driver package includes all the drivers that are necessary for your scanners, including a Twain, an ISIS, and a WAA driver. For this installation, we're going to select Windows-exe, and it will begin to download the file. From here, you'll have be presented with a choice if your browser is configured that way to download the file to any location on your PC or to your Windows download folder. Um, for my browser, we are going to select Save As. We're going to choose our desktop to save the file and hit Save. Okay, now that the download's complete, we can close our browser and we can go to our desktop where the file has been downloaded. You'll see this installation software package in the zip icon. You'll want to double click on that and it'll start unzipping the files. The first screen that'll happen is whether or not you want to choose uh, this application to change your device. You want to select yes here to continue and it'll start unzipping the software. Once the package is unzipped, it will start the installation routine. As I mentioned, this installation or this demonstration is applicable to all Codec Alara scanners for this particular demonstration, as I mentioned, is for the S3100F. Once it's ready, you'll see the Begin button turn green, and we're going to hit Begin. Now you have a choice between a typical or advanced installation. For this demonstration, we are going to select Typical, as we do not need to customize the installation routine for this uh, scanner. We'll hit Next, and then you're going to be presented with a software and user license agreement. Please read through this before selecting Next. There's some good information in here regarding uh, our terms and conditions for the software itself. Once you hit Next, it will begin installing and preparing the files for the installation. At the top here, it'll start telling you what exactly is happening through the installation routine. And when that's complete, you'll be presented with a new screen. Okay, now that the driver files have been installed, you'll be presented with a screen that says the drivers and documentation installation is complete. From here, select Next. Now you'll have a choice on whether or not the scanner is USB connected or wired. This screen will vary depending on model on whether or not it has a USB cable or a wired connection over your network. If this is a network installable device, you want to make sure your scanner is connected to the network and an IP address is assigned to that scanner. For this installation, we are going to select USB as it's being connected directly to a PC. From here, select USB and then hit Next. From here, you'll follow the prompts on the screen to make sure that you remove the label covering off the USB port, and then we can hit next when that happens. Now is the time you want to attach the USB cable to the scanner and to the computer. Okay. Now that we've installed our scanner to our PC via USB cable, you want to hit next. You may hear the Windows operating system notify you that there's a new device being plugged in. You want to select next. And at this point, you want to make sure the scanner is turned on. At this time, my scanner is already turned on. But if you are plugging it in for the first time and turning it on, you do want to make sure you give it about 30 seconds or so before you start proceeding to make sure that the uh, PC is fully recognized there's new hardware. Once the power is on, you hit next. And what will happen here is a whole recognition process that happens behind the scenes. Now, once that's complete, 
it'll tell you that the scanner is connected to the computer and you can use a connected scanner selection here. We're going to select next. The nice thing about this installation package is that it will also make sure that your scanner is connected properly and allow you to run a test scan. So once you're all set up, hit next. It'll instruct you on how to load paper, which so it's very intuitive in, in terms of an installer. And then from here, we're going to install paper on the top edge on the front side. So I am loading a sample document into our scanner right now. You want to make sure that the paper is lined up and the side guides are also set properly so it doesn't skew. We're going to hit next through here and now the scanner is going to start scanning the document. As long as everything went successful, you'll see a preview of the sample document we scanned and you'll see a front and back scan of that document. As long as your document is seen properly, you can hit next and from here, you can end the installation or continue to the download website to download additional software for your scanner like Smart Touch or Capture Pro LE. For this demonstration, we're just going to click skip and hit done. At this time, your scanner drivers are installed. The scanner has uh, completed a test scan and you are now ready to start scanning documents from your Kodak Lara scanner through any Twain or ISIS based application that you may have on your PC already. We hope this information in this demonstration was very helpful for you, and we look forward to doing another video with you at another time. Thank you for your time today.